six week puppies. We are going to be giving shots, we're going to be deworming, and we're going to do a general health checkup. So let's talk about these products. So we wormed our puppies at two and four weeks with parental paomate, which is exactly the same thing as Nemex 2, except this is about a quarter or tenth of the price. You can buy this on Amazon. This, th that bottle there is about 100 bucks. That bigger bottle there is about 25 bucks. So you can see pretty big difference. Same thing. All right. We do that for one day every two weeks, starting at two weeks old. When they're six weeks, we shift to Safeguard or Fender Bendazole, same thing as Panacure. Um, you can buy this in various different ways. It is actually called a goat wormer. I think it's got a label in front of it, probably. Yeah, see so pictures of goats and cows. Uh, beef and dairy cattle dewormer. But it's, it's also used for puppies. Um, you're gonna do this for three days in a row, um, and uh, uh, easy to do. And I do this at six, eight, 10, 12, as long as the puppies are here every two weeks. Okay, and we're also gonna worm mum with this as well. So that's gonna be done three days in a row, starting as of today. They are actually six weeks old tomorrow. So it's Sunday, we're a little bit a day early, but that's not a problem at all. Okay, we are gonna give them shots. And here are the shots. It's always a two-part system. You, you mix the liquid here, you pull up with a syringe, put that into the powder, shake it up, pull it back out again, and then inject that in the puppy. It doesn't matter what your puppies weigh, they are gonna get one com combined dose, you know, these two things together. Basically, one of these things, the powder, is the actual ingredients, and the other one is a transport mechanism. These must be refrigerated. You cannot let these get warm before you use them. What do they cost? Um, you can, by the way, back to this, that's about, buy a big bottle of this like this, is probably like $400 you can buy a, a, a quart of it for around 140 bucks. Okay, back to this. You can get this from your vet. You can get these at maybe your farm supply store and you can order these online. The least expensive way is to order them online. If you order online, you're gonna be buying lots of 25 at a time and it's gonna cost you around 100 to 125 bucks. So you're paying four to five dollars a shot. It's a lot ex less expensive than going to the vet. But I mean, it doesn't mean you shouldn't, you, you know, if you're not comfortable doing this, you absolutely should go to the vet. If you're buying it, bring them home, make sure that you are transporting them in a bag with some ice packs. They've got to be kept cold. They can keep them in the fridge. You know, if you're buying a lot of 25, say you have five puppies and you're gonna give them shots three times, you're gonna use 15 shots up and the other ones you can keep in the fridge. I don't know what the expiration date is on these things. It may say on it. Let's have a look, see if it says an expiration date while we're talking about this. Um, but yeah, you, there's different ways you can do this. Now there's different kinds, this is an X prize. So it's got a one year, 20, January 24. So it's not got a huge lot. I mean, it's probably six months and like that. So, you know, if you go by 25, you better have a use for 25. Um, make sure that you've got needles. So if you order these online, they're probably not gonna come with needles. You need to order those separately. So you need syringes and needles to do this. And you need a fresh syringe and needle for each puppy. All right. Then we've got some alcohol so we can disinfect the area where we're putting the shot. And we've got some cotton swabs so we can do that. And then we're gonna to listen to them with their lungs and their hearts with a stethoscope. So we've got those items there as well. And then we've got a scale because we need to know how much of this we're gonna give. And that means we need to know their weight. All right, so let's get on with mixing up the um, vaccine ready to do the first shot. Okay, each shot is a two parts. You've got a powder and there is a liquid. You see the liquid moving there, all right? Got a fresh needle for everyone. All right, so what do we do? So we take the syringe out, but this is a, what is this? That is probably a, I like to use a 22 gauge needle. That's probably what that, that might be an 18 gauge. It might be an 18 gauge fresh needle. Okay, so first thing you do is you take the liquid, pierce it in the top, uh, tip it upside down and suck the liquid out into the syringe. And you can see it forming into the syringe. And I'm just going to hold it up like that so I can get the last little bit out. You can kind of see in the neck of it when you've got it all. There we go. You can see, it's hard for you to see on this, but there's no liquid left in there at all. There's a little drop at the bottom. Again, it's not critical on this. So that now go, gets pierced into the top of the powdered version and squish that in there. 
Give it a little shake, doesn't take much, and you can see it's kind of all pink colored. And then you do the same process again. Suck this into, and we can see that all that liquid is gone. Now it's all in the syringe. I'm just going to get rid of the air. This is not like where you're putting this into a vein of a dog where any air in here could really cause a problem because it's just going to go what's called subcutaneous under the, uh, the skin. So a little bit of air in here just really doesn't matter. But there it is. Okay, so we're ready to go. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get all of these prepped up uh, so we're ready to give our shots. So we've got all four shots ready to go. We've got four shots. puppies. So if you already saw me load up these shots, they're ready to go. Um, I've got a cotton ball that's been soaked in some just regular rubbing alcohol. And why have I got that? So that I can clean off the area where I'm going to give the shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the skin up like this and put the shot directly into the skin. So I want to just generally clean off that area just to make sure that we're not going to push any dirt in. My hands, you know, don't have gloves on. That's, I think that's fine because remember, I'm not going to touch the needle. A needle is, is a sterile needle. Okay, here we go. So she will not be wired with this whatsoever at all. Make sure that the needle end is firmly on the end of this. You don't want that popping off. So you, what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna tent up the skin like that and it's gonna go straight to the skin. So here we go. Lift the skin up, stick the needle in, depress the plunger, pull it out. Give them a little rub. That's it, done. Very, very simple. And you can absolutely do this yourself at home. Now, if you're not comfortable with doing this, of course, go to the vet. Um, the one shot that you do need to have a, a vet administered is the rabies shot, because that shot, you don't get a tag unless the doctor has actually given the shot. So that one you do need to go to the vet for. That's going to be after these guys are in their new home, so their, their new owners, new families will be worrying with that. We won't be doing that. Um, and uh, I've got two more to do. We're going to get those done. I've got four in total in this litter. Cost for me to do this was about $4.50 a shot. Very inexpensive. If I went to, to, the, to the vet to have this done, it would be a lot more expensive than that. But again, I'm not saying that you should do this. You should only do this if you're comfortable with um, the whole process. So as you can see, I've done this many, many times and uh, no, no worse for the wear. Uh, the puppy didn't suffer at all getting it done. All right, on with the next one. Okay, all four puppies have had their shots. You can see this guy here was scratching his back a little bit, quite normal. Just Definitely watch out for your puppies. Make sure, I mean, I've never seen an adverse reaction to having a shot, but it could happen. So, you know, just make sure nothing funny is going on uh, for the next, you know, half an hour. Um, but uh, you, see, you see, he's scratching right there, and that's quite normal. There's nothing to be worried about at all. But just make sure there's no other reaction going on. Everybody else is just doing what puppies do. They're nursing on mum. Okay, and he is like scratching that away. I'm gonna give him a little scratch. Help him out there a little bit. Hey, buddy. There you go. There you go. I'm going to go check it out. Okay. That seems to have sorted it out for him. These guys over here, they're not itching and scratching. Okay, time to worm puppies. Puppy's six weeks old. It's going to get wormed with the safeguard for three days in a row. How much do you give? It all depends on the weight of the puppy. So you need to weigh your puppy. Hopefully you've got scales because you should have that as part of your whole process. He weighs five and a half pounds. And it turns out that the safeguard is one mil per five pounds. So I'm gonna give him just a little bit more than um, a, a, a mil. And what I did is I already sucked up, in a brand new syringe, I already sucked up five and a half mils of uh, safeguard, because I've got four puppies, they each weigh about five pounds. This one gets a little bit more, so there's a couple of them that get a little bit more, a couple of them get a little bit less, but look, the exact amount that you give is not critical, but get it right. I don't like giving dosage out, and don't think I'm giving all of this to this puppy. I'm not. I'm just going to give... It. This makes it easier for me, because I can very quickly go ahead and give all the puppies their worming medications. Just go. So here we go. So it's going to be in the mouth. Um, they're not crazy about this, but it won't be too bad. So get his mouth opened up, and we're just going to go in there and put in one cc. And make sure that he swallows the whole thing. And just a little bit more. There we go. Just make sure he swallows it all up okay. And he did. Here we go. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. So, um, of course, we've been looking at their poop. We see it every few hours just to make sure there's nothing going on. 
Their puppies have got generally got pretty good poop at this point. It's nice little hard turds. There was a little bit of liquidy going on. This probably sorted that out. So anyway, um, you know, if you've got diarrhea and other things, then it's time to find out what the heck's going on and maybe a vet visit. But these puppies are all doing absolutely fine.